Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jakey and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new currently unreleased Benefactor Krieger, which is part of the Casino and Resort DLC drip feed content. And this car, oh man, I don't, it just looks so fucking unique and awesome. Look at that spoiler. Man, that is awesome. It's got fins for spoilers. And when I first spawned this in, first impressions, I thought, it looks like a Batmobile, you know, because it's in black and it's obviously got these fins at the back. And I was really, really impressed with the way it looks. And I still am impressed with the way it looks. It looks immense. It looks really, really good. Just hope that we can customize it because usually with supercars, you can't really do that much customization to it. But we're going to find out. So we're going to start this build with... 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes. Then we've got the engine, level 4 engine upgrade. Then the exhaust. As you can see, we've got the exhaust at the top of the car. And then we can re we can move them down, which is good, I think. Mm. I mean, for the sake of being unique, maybe the stock position is maybe the best. I don't know. Um, but you can move them lower if you would like. I don't think I do though. I think I prefer them up here in the stock position, like I said, because it makes the car more unique. There's not many cars in the game which um, have that, you know. So I'm going to stay stock for the exhaust because I think it's awesome. Then we've got the hood. Uh, that stock hood actually looks really cool too. So we've got a carbon version of it and we can um, strip it, apparently, which is obviously just smoothing it out. Carbon version. And then a carbon version of game, but it's the same as the as the stock hood. I don't understand that. Customization so far in this car are fucking shit. Really disappointed with the customizations. I mean, why would you want to smooth your hood out when you've got an awesome looking hood like that from stock? Why would you want to put carbon in it? Man, I'm pissed off about the customization already in this. That's disappointing. This car is obviously beautiful from stock, which I'm not complaining about. It looks awesome. But at least give us some fucking proper options, man. That's not a proper option. That is ridiculous. That looks stupid. And these are bullshit options as well because they're the same as the stock version, just a carbon variant of them. Damn. I was hoping we would actually have some decent customization. Not even like crazy amounts of it, just a couple of, you know, nice options. But no, no bumper options. We've got practically no hood options. Um. Yes, yeah, so we're going to move on to the lights next. We've got headlights and the Xeon headlights. Uh, liveries. We get loads of liveries, though. Nothing else, just loads of liveries. Uh, so we've got black stripes, white stripes, Germanic, Germanic and obviously it's a, it's a play on the German flag. And then we've got these crazy ass liveries. The junk one actually looks pretty cool. I like them ones. The red, the red junk livery looks sweet with the black. That's, uh, that's weird. What the fuck? So, so like a paint splat. Man, even the liveries are dodgy as fuck. Even the liveries aren't even that good. The only decent one that I saw were these two. What the hell? That's disappointing on the customization. On every fucking angle of this customization is disappointing. Like I said already, it's just as well this car looks fucking awesome from stock. Um, we're going to skip the plate. Respray. Primary colour. I think a metallic red, like a formula red, would actually look really cool on this. So that's what I'm going to get. The metallic formula red. Same for the secondary, maybe. I'm going to go into metallic anyway. And we've got a wine red. What's this changing? Not seeing what is changing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the interior. So, instead of actually having a trim option, we get the secondary colour and it changes the trim. Oh, backwards, mate. Absolute backwards. So, we're going to go Formula Red anyway, just so it matches the outside of the car. And then we get a trim up. Hang on. What's happening here? Then we've got a trim option as well. And that's the... What the fuck? And it's just it's literally the trim around the, the stereo and the steering wheel. Why didn't it just change with the stitching? I don't get it. Oh, that's weird. 
That's really weird, man. We'll just grab red. What the fuck? <laughs> odd. Really odd. Uh, then we've got side skirts, and we've just got stock and primary. I'm going to go primary, because I'd prefer it to be all red. We've got the spoiler, and we've got the fin removed. That actually looks really nice without the fins, but I think with the fins, it's got that unique, you know, uniqueness to it. And I think it actually looks really cool. Uh, then we've got, obviously, all the standard spoilers, which, you know, I'm not really a massive fan of. On these types of cars, on like supercars, um, I think they look better without spoilers, in my opinion. But these fins, I, I'm actually, I don't know. I think because they're just so unique, I want to keep them. It's a shame we can't make them red. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. I don't want to remove them though. Oh man, I think I'm gonna remove them. What the hell? What the hell? Let's let's just do it. Transmission, super transmission. Turbo, turbo tuning, wheels. Even the wheels are disappointing. These wheels are just these. The Carbon S Racer. That's what these wheels are. And usually on a car <laughs> which cost 2.875 million dollars in GTA, would actually have some unique rims, but they don't. They have these, unfortunately. Uh, so that is very disappointing uh, that the rims aren't a little bit more unique to this car because the rest of the car is awesome from stock customization is absolutely non-existent I love the fact that we've got the exhausts up here which is cool I really like the fins that it comes with from stock as well um, but because I changed the car, car color to red and I couldn't change the fin color to red I've, you know, I thought it was best to remove them. Um, but other than that, from stock, it is an awesome, awesome looking car. Customizations are absolutely fucking shit. So I'm not really sure what wheels or what I'll go with now because I definitely don't want to keep the stock ones. It's just really disappointing that the stock wheels are just dog shit. I actually really like them, the Lodge Speed 10. I think they suit the car really nice. Good grab. Why the fuck not? Wheel colour. Um, I don't know if you'd notice, but I really like black rims. <laughs> oh, damn. I, I don't think any other colour is actually going to suit it. You know, it's just a shame that these wheels aren't chrome. Because I think they'd look alright actually in chrome. Um, so I can I can go alloy. Alloy looks pretty cool. Or we can go carbon black, which also looks really cool. Um, no, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go alloy on this one. Uh, tires we're gonna skip. Windows go grab the light smoke window tint baby, and that's it for the customization. What what lack in customization there was? I mean, <laughs> there were, there was pretty much no customization to that car. I just removed a couple of things if anything. Um, and change the colour of it. But that looks awesome. That still looks awesome. I'm just really happy with the way this actually looks. You know, straight off the bat. Because if, if it looked like shit. And it had that type of customization, I'll be really pissed off right about now. Because this is a car that's going to set you back $2.875 million. And there's zero customization and for somebody well a lot of the people that play GTA that actually watch these videos watch my videos must be interested in customization because why would you watch a customization video if you're not interested in it so maybe that's gonna be like a put off into buying this car maybe we're now gonna drive it and see how this is actually gonna perform not like in-depth performance but just basic performance this is a supercar, bear in mind. It's called the Benefactor Krieger. It's going to cost $2.875 million. Zero customization. But let's see if it's quick and whether it can actually take a corner. So let's do it. So, as we pull off, it actually feels okay. And it's just rapid. You can see, it. whoa, you can just see how quickly that picks up oh my god I'm gonna have to do something about these cars now 
because I think this car is just going to be like stupid crazy quick. <laughs> so I need to remove these motherfuckers. Right, so now no cars are, is enabled. We'll get rid of peds as well. There we go. So we can come back and put them back on in a minute. It's not a big deal. But now we've got them removed. We've got the whole roads to ourselves. So no worry about weird pedestrians crashing into me. So we can just drive easy and try and get some speed up. So go, just even pulling around this corner, it just feels really solid, really tight. You know, if, if this is definitely going to be one of the top supercars in the game once it's released. Um... Which it needs to be. I mean, every car that they bring out needs to be a step up from the last car that they brought out, in my opinion. So, this is a supercar, obviously. So, it, naturally, it needs to be better than the last supercar they brought to the game in the last DLC. Um, well, that's the way it should be, anyway. I think so. And another plus is that it doesn't suffer from the advanced handling file. They call it an advanced handling file. But, like I said, I say you suffer, uh, suffer from it. The car suffers from that. So, it's not advanced. It's just fucking bullshit. Um, but, luckily, this car doesn't have it. As you can see, I did go over a couple of humps. And it did throw me up in the air a little bit. But, it was gripping to the ground. And, it wasn't losing control. Which is awesome. It feels really quick. I know I've not got anything. Like, no cars to compare it to at the minute. But, it actually feels really, really good. The braking actually seems really spongy. It's not... The brakes aren't don't feel that great um, unfortunately it just feels like it doesn't stop as sudden as I'd like it to um, but you know it's not crazy crazy shit it does actually that stops at least so um, but for a car for the speed you'd want it to stop on a dime and it doesn't really do that um, so the the braking is a little bit weak but the speed's good the speeds definitely there it feels really tight and responsive um, it doesn't feel like it wants to kick out or spin out at any point which is obviously really really good and um, yeah I don't really have anything negative to say about the performance really except for the brakes being a bit shit but other than that it's fucking awesome really good supercar um, and like I've said already customization is poor really really poor um, but you know let's Customization is not everything, I suppose, especially on a car like this. If you're just going to buy it for racing and you just want to win races, then man, it's going to be an awesome car to do to do that with. Um, if you want to buy it for car shows, car meets, it could still be awesome because it looks awesome from stock. The only downside is is that there's no not going to be much individuality with the build. You know that's the only downside. But anyway, it looks awesome from stock. Um, the performance is definitely there uh, but whether you want to part with 2.875 million dollars is another matter I personally don't think it's worth it I personally wouldn't be purchasing this on my online account um, you know I think I, 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 me personally I would give this a miss but everybody needs to make their own mind up about these types of things and you really need to look at it and think what do I want it for? Do I want it for customization? Do I want it for performance? Do I want it just because I've got a shit ton of money and I just want to buy the newest car out? You never know. But I think if you do want to buy a new supercar, you need to think about what you want it for. Because if you want to grab this, it really needs to just be for for performance, in my opinion. That's the only reason I would buy it, is if this was top of the leaderboard, better than any other supercar in the game. Um, other than that, I'd leave it alone. But that's just my opinion. As always, uh, everyone's got an opinion. People will disagree, people will agree. You know, it's just the way it is. But on that note, I'm going to end the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, review, build, whatever you would like to call it on the Benefactor Krieger, currently unreleased in GTA. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.